I'm not going to describe my guest today as the most beautiful woman in the world because physical beauty is transient. However, as a career woman myself, I will say this. She is a role model in a country where working women still have very few role models. She has never given us this cliched statement so many Hindi film actresses make. I'm focusing on my career right now so I won't get married. And in the past three years, she has proved that this male-dominated, sometimes gender-prejudiced Hindi film industry will make an exception for a married actress who remains committed to her fitness and her work post-marriage. Eshwari Rai Bachchan, welcome to Headlines today. How sweet. Thank you so much. Oh my God. That was very that special. True? Thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. Um, but, you know, that's my take on uh, your career and the industry. But uh, would you agree that you've perhaps managed to um, cross many hurdles that many women before you have not managed? I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have thought actually this would be... Um, kind of associated so strongly with me because I, I definitely do not believe I'm the only one or I'm a first but going by the response that I have been now receiving for uh, since marriage so strongly from not just the media from actually within a lot of people within the industry from a lot of my viewers and well-wishers it's it's wonderful and very gratifying that you know I, I can be one of the reasons where a lot of preconceived ideas can and perceptions could be dispelled it's, it is a good feeling, but, um, but it would be unfair on my part to take the credit solely because uh, I think it's, it's more so because of the like-minded professionals I have met. Well, you know, um, I was interviewing Priyanka Chopra last year and mm. she told me that until you came along, we really didn't know whether the audiences for sure would or wouldn't accept a married actress because most married actresses took a bit break post-marriage. Mm. Why is it? Who was it who advised you? What was it that... My story, I think from the time I entered the movies, is just individual. It's just, it's, it's very unconventional in the sense like even when I came into movies, I didn't have a conventional um, launch pad or I wasn't even like a conventional newcomer that, you know, you have your first movie and then you kind of see the reaction and then you sign on the others. From the beginning, I was already a workhorse, already working on four films the first year itself. And um, so in that sense, and I think even the way the industry welcomed me, which is I'm very, very grateful for, it wasn't like a conventional newcomer. They already uh, regarded me with, they, they, of course, ended up giving me a lot of responsibility in the kind of roles that I had very early in my career. And hence the expectations that I had to live up to. And hence there were also disappointments where people felt, you know, she really needs to get her act together in terms of the acting craft. It, uh, people weren't very generous and they weren't very forgiving either, which probably a lot of the other newcomers will enjoy. Mm -hmm. And I think what happened with me during marriage, just to bring it down to what exactly you were asking me, was that very unconventionally, I got married halfway through a film. So um, I think the challenge, which we didn't even think about, but what was very interesting was when Jodha Akbar released, Neither could the viewer, the director or us within the team pinpoint which part of the film I was Ishwarya Rai and which part of the film was Ishwarya Rai Bachchan. I mean, and that was, and that I think in itself is a statement. That to me is the larger picture, that you need to know that nothing necessarily changes. So there's no need to change and alter perception. I have never understood why producers, I remember once talking to a director about Madhuri Dikshit immediately after marriage and he assured me because he didn't realize that I'm a super duper feminist. He said, don't worry <laughs> ma'am. He said, don't worry ma'am. I've given her a role that suits a married actress. What on earth does the industry mean when they say a role that suits a married actress? I don't know. But I think what's also probably uh, what what makes my story individual is the fact that from the beginning of my career I did not think whether this is the kind of role that a girl will do or a woman will do or you know which stage which which phase of your career in your life so I think I freed myself of all these um, these, com these, these kind of uh, manners in which an actor can, her career can be compartmentalized into phases. I think I kind of broke that from the beginning. Uh, that took guts. That took a lot of, I remember the initial times, the initial years of my career, people would be like, but why don't you think you should do more, do these dhamal films, do the more fun loving films and, you know, become this permanent pair of, of the the reigning uh, superstar hero and then you have these string of hits to your career. I didn't have that many hits. 
but I was working in a variety of cinema. I was not working in regional cinema because I did not have work. I was working because I, was, I managed to schedule it into my uh, diary and hence I'd be working with filmmakers. Okay, it's interesting there are two things that you brought up which, uh, I mean, one is that you said there was a lot of criticism uh, of your acting initially, people weren't mm. kind. And no, not, not all, but I'm just yeah. saying like in the sense. But did it, I mean, because of course there's been criticism of your acting, but have, what have you learned from it and do you think you've learned from it? Look, there were two ways of looking at it. Like I said, I think that criticism was only fair, especially when I was treated like the superstar from the beginning. I was not treated like a newcomer. So if on one hand I have all this going so good, I'm getting the best of roles, I'm working with the best of directors, I'm getting a very good salary. So at every point in time, I've not been, uh, you know, treated like a newcomer. Hence, obviously, the expectations to deliver like people who, who had already had 10 years of experience ahead of me, because that's the kind of place I was being given on celluloid. On my part, I knew my reality that, look, experience is going to be the greatest teacher and I have to learn on the job while at the craft. The best I could ask for was working with the best of directors and with incredible teams. So uh, thereby a lot of my choices was to participate in cinema. Keep it versatile. Work with a variety of people. Even if it meant that, you know, people could turn around and say, so this director didn't repeat you. I could have easily been doing that. But it was important to work with so many different people in my career because I had to have that variety of experience in my life. Also, um, I think the biggest certificate for me and the most um, encouraging aspect was that the directors had faith in me. And this is the best of the directors of our business. And if they have faith in giving me roles, they were not treating me just as a pretty girl in their movies. They were giving me women of substance to essay, albeit within their own little genres and within the parameters of the best that they had to offer to leading ladies. Okay. Um, one interesting thing is that um, Guzarish's release date has actually coincided with your Miss World. Uh, you know, one of your fans reminded me that it was in, on November 19th, 19, 1994 right. that you won the Miss World wow. contest. You know, yeah. Grand Eshwarya Rai has been so associated with this line that's almost become a cliche, the most beautiful woman in the world. Um, how important has it been um, to brand Eshwarya Rai, to be able to, to be de defined that? If it is used, it is used. I haven't coined it. <laughs> I have only worked. I've just been a workhorse, I think, from You've the beginning. You've been grateful for it? Absolutely. Absolutely. And especially because um, it's from the beginning, and I'm genuinely saying from my personal experience, what's made it so special is that it's always, believe you me, been beyond the apparent. And that's what's made it so, um, so wonderful. You know, when I got the title, for me, I always said, I said my mission was um, to make it about it was not just about being a beauty queen. It was not about wearing the crown at every given um, opportunity. For me, it was my one chance at representing the Indian woman on an international platform. I think that's what I kind of gave to it in all my, all my um, visits, all my travels, all the opportunities that I, that I had. And it was a very busy year. In fact, I think even the Miss World organization said that I was one of the busiest Miss Worlds they'd ever had. Um, so um, for, for me, it was about, it was about substance. And I think that's, that's where it all started. And probably that's why from then on, throughout my journey, um, the, the fruition of that, um, of that in, in investment, if I, if I may say so, has been really sweet, where people have accorded me just that. It has been beyond the apparent. It has been more about what you contribute, what you bring to the table, whether it be in cinema, whether it be in any um, social causes that I take up, whether it be in any enterprise, even my endorsements, any any assignment that I take up. Okay, um, but your co-star Hrithik Roshan in Guzarish, let's talk about him as women. <laughs> Apart from being gorgeous, um, and I know you've been asked what's the secret of your chemistry with him, but um, okay, I want to say that, you know, your chemistry with Hrithik reminds me a little bit of uh, the SRK Kajol chemistry because they're crackling. I think this has got attached in, in perception and I don't think it limits itself just to us. When it comes to uh, Hrithik and me, we have constantly said that I think one, we have worked in three incredible pieces of cinema in terms of, of course, distinctly different in genre in the kinds so of the films themselves have been hugely successful. So it's not that they have not been successful in that sense. People have liked the characters, they've liked the narrative, they've liked the films and and thereby 
when we say it we genuinely mean it what you're seeing is the chemistry between the characters and if it's written in there i mean we are passionate actors believe you me we infuse it into every narrative and every film that we work in whether it's with each other whether it's with others you put you actually go and commit as much to every script but if the moments have that potential of magic then definitely i mean like we both keep joking we said tomorrow god forbid at some point in time if we get a film where the film just doesn't work we can already see the headline saying has the chemistry gone out the window so now you think, you think he has chemistry with somebody else and she has decided not to put out the chemistry altogether and there will be all these other stories floating but so you're I saying you've got magical scripts i think definitely and we have got very magical characters with wonderful moments and you and rithik have got more magical scripts together than you and he uh, you or any of your other co-stars and no, he actually, have any you know of his co-stars and i'm being very very um, honest here and this is what in a way i cherished throughout uh, for a large part of my career where because i was not a, a constant pair with any one individual with any one uh, male colleague for the longest time uh, up until probably now people talk about abhishek and about rithik in terms of the maximum work that i've ended up doing with them and more recently i guess concentrated uh, i still remember um, whether it was um, okay when bobby and me came together there was this whole thing about two good looking people okay but the film just didn't connect for people when it came to hamdil dechu kesanam they found me equally crackling with both the leads of the film so much so that afterwards i ended up doing more work with ajay and when i was with him in uh, raincoat and even so one more film we had done crackling. and believe you me i got more offers with ajay You it was more offers with ajay yeah, than with salman yeah and with sparks, and uh, sparks on screen between and you and salman and they said about me and sharuk even though we played brother and sister in josh they spoke about us in mohabbate where i was so fleeting i was a ghost in that film they're so fleeting but people could see the chemistry and then in devdas there was plenty spoken about there was uh, about with sanju even when i just did shabd people spoke about that like we we work very well together on screen um so i've enjoyed this with most of my co-stars that i've worked with 